Hello everyone, welcome to Tyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Contact forms are essential for your website, but they take a lot of time to build from scratch. It takes knowledge of HTML input fields, styling those inputs using CSS, JavaScript form validation, and some backend code or third party tool to store the data and notify by email. But none of this is required if you simply create a Google form and embed it on the site. Let's see how it's done. Go to forms.google.com. You should be signed in to your Google account and you will be able to see this page. You can already use the template available of contact information or create a new form. Let's create new. Change the title to contact us or whatever you want the title to appear. You can add a description here, something like get in touch with us or type in your inquiry. Now here is our first field, name. Here select short answer because name is a short answer and this is a required field. So turn this on, create another field which is email. This is also a short answer and required field again. Also here you see the options, select that and select response validation. Text contains email address. So Google automatically takes care of validating this input field as an email. Add another field, maybe contact number if that's required. This is a short answer as well. You can make it required or that's not necessary. Add another field which will be message and it's auto detected as paragraph which is long answer. This is required. That's it. Now you can customize this form. Click on this icon here. You can change the theme to any of the colors present here or you can add your own hex value something like this and click on add. You see the theme has changed to a custom color. You can also choose an image as a header but that won't look good when you're embedding it. You can change the font style to basic or formal. I would recommend keeping it basic. Now you can click on this icon to preview what the form looks like. This is what it looks like when you embed it on site with the submit button. Now let's go back and change the name here. So this is our form which is saved in the drive. When you have people responding to this form, you can see the responses on this tab and you can set whether you're accepting responses at the moment or not and you can view the data and spreadsheets. Now, if you wanna get notified by email whenever someone submits this form, Click on the options here and select get email notifications for new responses. Once you do this, notifications are enabled. This is it. Now let's see how to embed this on our website. Click on send and click on this icon here. You can change the width and height if required, but let's do that in the code directly. So copy this now. Go to your editor and paste this wherever you want the form to appear. Let's see what this looks like. This is it, we have the form appearing. It's perfect. We just have one problem, however, if you view this in responsive mode, you'll notice that the form doesn't fit in properly for smaller screens. Very simple fix for this. Go back to the code and change the width to 100%. Now check. This is absolutely perfect. The form fits in to all the screen sizes. If you click on submit without typing any data, you will see the error message because required fields are not filled. So let's type in the name, give an email address, I'll leave the contact blank and then type in some message. Click on submit. Here you can submit another response if required. 
but let's go and see if we have received the response. There it is, we have one response. You can either view the summary of all the responses received or you can click on the individual tab to view individual responses page by page. Now you can also view all these responses in a spreadsheet format. Click on this. You can create a new spreadsheet or select existing one. And in Google Spreadsheets, you can see all the responses in tabular format. This would be very helpful if you want to import this into a CSV file, put it into a database or do anything that you wish to. I have also received a mail that somebody has filled up my contact form. Isn't it so simple? So quickly we were able to create the complete contact form functionality without any struggle at all. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.